Welcome to a tutorial on electronics and uh, today in this uh, tutorial we're basically going to discuss about the reciprocity theorem. Okay, so uh, this is another uh, one of the uh, network uh, theorems that you have, uh, you know, maybe have come across in your textbooks. Okay, uh, sorry there, it would be theorem. Okay. So now uh, the reciprocity uh, theorem actually, you know, uh, is quite useful in order to, you know, determine uh, certain, you know, values of uh, current in, uh, you know, branches where we would, we might, you know, uh, decide to interchange the sources. Okay. So keeping that uh, uh, in mind over here, I'd like to give you first the uh, statement of the reciprocity theorem over here. So here you go. So uh, the statement uh, just uh, says that in any branch of a network, okay, the current I due to single source. Okay, fine. Uh, let's uh, do one thing over here. Let's uh, yeah, let's uh, bring a picture of a network, and just let's just you know uh, paste it somewhere here. Yeah, that'll be uh, better. Okay, here is our network under discussion. Okay, so now it says that in any uh, branch of a, a network, okay, the current I due to a single source of voltage elsewhere in the network. Okay, so now if we just take a look in the network once again. So let's say we want to find out the uh, current that should actually, you know, flow through um, between the points X and Y through this uh, resistance that's known as RL, okay, or rather the load resistance. Let's say we want to find out the current, uh, let's just call it IL, okay. So let's say we want to find out this current IL right over here that flows uh, in between the points X and Y, okay, uh, through this uh, resistance RL, okay. And now the source voltage, as you can see over here, is connected between the points A and B uh, of this network, okay? So we want to find out the current in between the uh, points X and Y, and elsewhere in the network between the points A and B, we have a voltage source, uh, namely V1, okay, connected. All right, so now as this theorem states that in any branch of uh, a network, okay, so that's uh, of course, you know, the uh, branch XY that we have, uh, you know, chosen over here. So in any branch of network, the current I due to a single source of voltage V, okay, elsewhere in the network, which is of course uh, the source of voltage that's V1 connected between the points A and B in the network. Uh, yeah, is equal to the current through the branch in which the source was originally placed. So now this uh, current that uh, is basically uh, flowing through uh, that of the, uh, I mean in between the points X and Y, okay, that is IL, would be equal to, you know, the current that would flow through uh, the point, I mean flow between uh, the points A and B, okay, that's where uh, the voltage source is originally placed. Okay, then go back to the statement once again. So, um, yeah, so it's equal to the current through the branch in which the source was originally placed when the source is placed in the branch in which the current I was originally obtained. So I know it's a bit confusing here, but I'll just try to make this straight. So this theorem over here basically states that if we are, you know, interested in finding out the, uh, you know, value of current that's IL flowing uh, in between the points X and Y uh, in this uh, branch uh, across which, you know, RL is connected. And now the uh, voltage source V1, as we can see, is connected between the points A and B. Okay, so now the uh, value of this uh, current over here, that's IL, will be equal to the current that would flow between the points A and B, okay, uh, where this uh, source voltage is connected, if we were to, you know, change the position of this uh, source voltage and bring it and connect it between X and Y right over here. Okay, so uh, that way the network would look something like this. You know, just uh, show the picture somewhere over here. Okay, yep, there you go. So this is exactly what I'm just uh, talking about. Take a good look at this uh, picture of this, uh, you know, the changed network over here. So according to the theorem, it says that uh, this uh, value of the current IL, which we uh, want to determine that flows in between the points X and Y in this network, would be equal to the current flowing in between the points A and B uh, in the same network, if we were to change, uh, okay, uh, I mean, if we were to change the position of this uh, voltage source V1 and connect it in between the points X and Y, something like this, okay. 
So now, uh, if we are just uh, you know trying to find uh, the uh, value of uh, current that would flow through uh, the uh, I mean in between the points A and B, let's say we just call it IAB. Then in this case, we'll have from this reciprocity theorem that we'll basically be having IL as equals to IAB. So this is exactly uh, the uh, statement of the uh, reciprocity theorem if we were to just you know change the uh, position of the uh, source voltage over here okay so keeping that in mind uh, if we were to uh, basically you know uh, reduce any network using uh, or rather you know apply uh, the reciprocity theorem in any kind of electrical network then of course we would uh, basically uh, see uh, the validation of uh, this uh, you know the um, statement that we've obtained from the reciprocity theorem. We'll basically be finding that uh, the value of IL would be equal to that of IAB. Okay, so okay fine so let's take a walk through that example so let's take uh, this uh, network uh, that we have shown you over here as our you know uh, a network for study uh, of for of the uh, you know the validation of the uh, statement for, of the reciprocity theorem okay so uh, okay fine so let's uh, take this network over here and uh, yeah so let's uh, just you know find uh, the um, current through uh, this uh, branch x y okay or rather just uh, you know find this uh, value of the current i l okay so from uh, this particular network i'll just you know uh, do one thing i'll just you know uh, basically uh, call this as uh, network 1 right over here so uh, from network 1 okay if we just you know try to find uh, the value of uh, i l over here as you can see then we basically uh, need to um, find the equivalent uh, resistance of this network. So now the equivalent resistance of this network would be uh, given by R equivalent, which would be, of course, you know, to uh, this uh, resistance R1, or rather, yeah, I'll just write it down it over here. So I've used uh, numbers, as you can see uh, in this uh, example, as it's, you know, quite easier to understand this theorem uh, with uh, the numbers, basically, so that uh, we could just, you know, uh, obtain numerical uh, values and, uh, you know, study, uh, or rather just, you know, clearly see that uh, the validation of the uh, reciprocity theorem statement. So over here, as you can see, uh, the our I mean the equivalent resistance of this entire uh, resistor-based network would be actually given uh, by uh, this uh, formula, or rather this uh, relationship over here. So if we just you know care to put the numerical values over here, so for R1 it's two ohms, and then we have for R3 that is of course yeah three ohms in parallel to uh, the summation of uh, the values of. Uh, the resistances R2 and RL respectively. So here as we can uh, just see we just put the values of R2 that's of course 1 ohm plus that of uh, the values of RL that is uh, 2 ohms respectively. Okay so if we just you know go through and uh, calculate uh, this uh, right over here then we'd be obtaining um, the R equivalent that's the equivalent resistance of this entire network as something equals to 3.5 ohms okay so now that we have uh, this uh, value of the equivalent uh, resistance of this entire network over here then we can very well find uh, the value of the total amount of current that should flow through uh, this network uh, from this uh, source voltage that's V1 so if we just you know take for example there is a current let's say uh, yeah, I flowing uh, from uh, this uh, source voltage V1, okay, into the network, then we'd obtain I as equals to uh, V1 divided by R equivalent, okay, so that comes to, okay, V1 is 10 volts and R equivalent is 3.5. So this uh, particular thing would basically uh, come to as, well, as uh, something like, yeah, about 2.86 ampere, okay. And now, if we are just basically, you know, interested in finding out the value of IL right over here, it could be readily find out using the value of I uh, with something like this relationship over here. Uh, if we just, you know, uh, put it this way, I multiplied by that of R3 divided, uh, or yeah, divided by the uh, summation of, you know, R2 and RL respectively. Okay, so let me just write it down.
over here r2 plus rl okay so this would uh, give us something like this i'll just write down the values over here 2.86 into or uh, multiplied by 3 by 3 plus yeah 3 right over here sorry there sorry there uh oopsie i just uh, missed one part over here r2 plus rl plus r uh, r3 yeah that's better Okay, so if we just uh, write them down over here, so R2 plus RL, as you can see over here, it's 1 plus 2, that's already 3, and now R3 is also 3 ohms right over here. So if we just, you know, go forward and put them over here, then we can just calculate it as something equal to 1.43 amps, okay? It's 1.43 amperes. Okay, I'll rather, uh, yeah, I'll just, you know, write it down in a uh, in a better way so that it's uh, easily visible to you all uh, that's better yeah that's uh, 1 point uh, four three amps okay so we fi found out uh, the value of IL uh, from conventional uh, network analysis okay and now uh, we need to what we need to do next is that we just need to uh, interchange the uh, voltage source and come down to uh, network number two. So let's just uh, call this one as network number two. So in the the network number two, uh, we have just you know uh, interchanged the uh, position of this uh, source voltage V1 over here, and now we are basically intending to find the value of the current uh, flowing in between the points A, A and B. So we need to find I A B right over here. And now uh, from this uh, network, let's just you know assume that uh, we have a current. Uh, okay, let's say we have a current I dashed flowing uh, through this uh, network uh, that basically you know originates uh, from that of uh, this, or rather, I'll uh, just you know put it somewhere over here. Yeah, that uh, now this uh, current I dashed over here originates from this uh, voltage source that's uh, 10 volts over here. That's a uh, V1. Okay. So now, in order to do that, we need to just basically again find out the equivalent uh, resistance of this network, and that would just be okay. Let, let me just you know uh, put it down something like this. So this is from the uh, network analysis result of that of uh, the network number two over here. So uh, with that, we obtain the value of the R equivalent as something like this. Yeah, there you go, that's the relationship. And now by putting the uh, values of the respective resistances over uh, here, we'll be uh, basically uh, be having as, yeah, 2 plus 1, uh, there you go, plus over here we have R1 as 2, and that's parallel to R3, that's of course 3. So now by uh, solving uh, this, uh, you know, calculation, we uh, just get our equivalent for this uh, network number 2 as uh, something equals to 4.2 ohms okay so uh, now that we have the value of the R equivalent uh, for network number 2 and we need to find uh, the value of I dashed that's uh, the uh, current that uh, comes out of this uh, source voltage V1 when it's connected between the, the points X and Y in this uh, network so over here uh, the value of I dashed would be given by uh, yeah V1 divided by that of R equivalent and then we'll get uh, something like yeah so now if I just put the values over here that's 4.2 and with that we are getting uh, something equals to 2.381 amps we're supposed to get something like this okay and now since we're interested in finding out the value of uh, this current IAB that's flowing between the two terminals A and B okay so then uh, we need to basically uh, apply this relationship over here then I'll be just you know putting down over here so that's uh, I dashed okay multiplied by that of uh, R3 divided by R3 plus R1 okay so there you go so now if you just go forward and put the values over here we're getting 2.381 uh, yeah, multiplied by R3 and now R3's value is of course yeah that's 3 ohms divided by uh, R3 that's 3 ohms plus and the value of R1 is of course yeah 2 ohms so there you go so now if we just solve this and then we're supposed to get 1.43 amps so now that we have the values of IAB and IL now if you just you know compare their uh, magnitudes basically so now I AB is given by, I mean, IAB's magnitude is, of course, 1.43 amps, 
when uh, the source is exchanged and now if you take a look at the value of IL it's also 1.43 amps without the source being uh, exchanged I mean interchanged between the uh, branches AB and XY and now when the source was originally at uh, its possession uh, I mean its uh, previous possession between the uh, terminals X uh, I mean in between the terminals A and B right over here in diagram number one so there uh, then also the value of IL was 1.43 amps and now when we have changed the position of the uh, voltage source in diagram number two as you can see uh, in between uh, the points X and Y so now the current that's flowing that's basically flowing through the points A and B is also 1.43 amps so with this example you can see the validation of the uh, statement of the reciprocity theorem that states that IL should be equal to equals to IAB okay so and this is exactly how you would bas basically you know uh, uh, apply uh, this uh, theorem in uh, certain problems and uh, prove that the current is equal in their networks okay so with that we just uh, come to the end of this uh, tutorial session on reciprocity uh, theorem hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to watch our forthcoming tutorial so till then it's just gonna be a very short goodbye and see you in the next one and thanks for watching